Welcome back everyone. Uh, in this video, uh, we will be looking at uh, applications of uh, linear graphs at a cheap level. Uh, some of the skills that will be demonstrated uh, will be graphing linear functions, uh, forming linear equations, uh, and also communicating uh, findings in a given context. Uh, real world application. So in this case, I've got uh, the example. Your assessment, uh, by the way, will uh, be similar to this one. So um, uh, so it says uh, Fred's taxi uh, company has a fixed charge of uh, $2 plus 65 cents uh, per kilometer. And Rob's charge is graphed below. So the first part of the question says, give the equation of Rob's uh, taxi charges. So to find the um, equation from the graph, we need uh, two pieces of information. The first one is uh, rise over run, which is the gradient value. And you can see it just starts at 5 and it's gone all the way to uh, 20. So the change is uh, 15. So rise value is 15. And then it has um, gone across um, 30. So 15 divided by 30 is 0 0.5. And then the y-intercept, uh, of course, is uh, 5 in this case. And then we'll put these uh, together, y equals to mx plus c, uh, the slope-intercept form for uh, straight line. Uh, please uh, do make uh, sure that you um, substitute the gradient value and the y-intercept uh, in the right spots. So the cost function is uh, 0 0.5d. Uh, plus 5d is the distance in kilometers. Next question, uh, it says give the equation and draw the graph of Fred's uh, taxi. So Fred's taxi um, is charging uh, 65 cents uh, per kilometer and uh, the fixed charge is uh, $2. So we'll put that um, information there. So rate is 65 cents uh, for every kilometer. So that is, uh, remember change cents to dollars because we are looking at cost function in dollars. So 65 cents is 0 0.65. The y-intercept value is 2 because 2 is the um, fixed charge. And then we'll put that information together. So the cost is given by 0 0.65d plus 2. The um, question also says you draw the graph of uh, Fred's taxi uh, charges. So this is the equation. So what we will do is we'll use this equation. You can fill table of values and then uh, construct the graph. So your graph, uh, I would suggest if you can pause the video, draw the graph and see if it matches with the answer given. Uh, so here's the answer. So we've got the um, red line, uh, which is for uh, Fred's taxi. And the um, black line indicates the graph for Rob's taxi. Right, hope you guys got the same answer. Right, so the next question says, uh, at what distance uh, is it the same cost to use either of the two companies, uh, Fred's Taxi or uh, Rob's Taxi? And how is this information shown on the graph, plus what the uh, cost will be for those two companies? So what we need to uh, do is uh, we can clearly see the um, uh, place where the two lines uh, intersect. So this question is asking you to find the uh, point of intersection. And so you can see that uh, when the distance is 20 kilometers, the two lines intersect, giving the uh, cost of uh, $15. So the answer is uh, at a distance of uh, 20 kilometers, uh, point of intersection on the graph uh, shows that the cost is uh, $15. Um, Part D says, uh, now you are planning to um, go to your friend's house uh, who uh, lives uh, 40 kilometers uh, away from your place. Uh, which company will you choose and uh, why? So you have to answer this question by showing the uh, full working. Uh, it says distance of 40 kilometers. So I can't read that information off the graph. So what I will do is I will be using the equations that I have derived earlier for uh, each of the two companies. So, so Fred's uh, taxi. The equation is uh, cost is given by 0 0.65 d plus 2, and the distance here is uh, 40 kilometers. This gives a um, cost of $28. And then Rob's uh, taxi, the cost is 0 0.5 uh, times uh, 40 kilometers plus 5, gives you a total of $25. And then you write a justification to that, which company you will take and justify that. So it says, I will take Rob's taxi because it is $3 cheaper. So I'm just hoping that uh, this uh, makes sense. So this is what uh, your assessment will look like. Uh, so what we have covered is uh, at a cheap level, 
graphing linear functions, uh, forming linear equations, uh, and also communicating uh, findings in a given context. Uh, we can uh, also use um, graphics calculator to find the point of uh, intersection uh, uh, for linear graphs. And also we can use uh, it to uh, find the equation of a linear function given two points. So maybe in the next video I will show you how to use your uh, graphics calculator for this. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.